how can I invest in a privately held company? How can I evaluate to see if I should buy or sell? Yeah. With private companies, it's, it's hard to invest. They're not liquid. They don't trade on markets. And so the only way to invest would be to approach the company itself. Or what you can do is approach a company or a person that already owns shares. And even then it's hard. And I did this years ago when I invested in Palantir when it was a private company. I bought somebody else's shares. And in order to do so, I had to get approval from the board of Palantir and Peter Thiel. And the board always has a ROFR, R-O-F-R in place. What that means is this. They have a right of first refusal to decide if this person should be an investor or not. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit tougher, but it can be done. Yeah. All right. Um, and then you wrote, how should I evaluate to see if I should buy or sell? Like what information should I, should I look at in the prospectus? Yeah. Uh, and then you wrote, or VIX. It has nothing, it has nothing to do with the VIX because it's a private company. Um, and the VIX is just kind of a macro indicator for the S&P. But what you can do for any investment, whether it's public or private, you can ask for an investment offering memorandum, which is a legal document that lawyers create, which tells you all the pros and cons and the risks mainly in the deal. And if you try to invest in something and they don't have an investment offer memorandum, then don't invest. And because cryptocurrencies, they don't have investment offering memorandums. They might have a tiny little white paper, which is tough to understand for me, at least because it's all math stuff. But when it comes to cryptocurrencies, it'd be nice if there was an investment offer memorandum or an S1. And that's why in my cryptocurrency course, I give you a 49 step framework and it's all based on an S1 anyway, investment offering memorandum so that you can do your own research, yeah.